Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Now, there's no animation for this episode because I have to do a little announcement. As most of you are probably aware by now, there is the 1.5 update that is imminently going to happen, as well as the new DLC. What does that mean for the series? Well, hopefully nothing in that sense. I have backed up everything, I've downloaded everything. I'm hoping I should be able to continue the series as is, despite the update. However, it's obviously going to cause some complications down the road, so I'm probably going to have to speed through this series a little bit faster than I was hoping to, unfortunately, but that's the way it is. The other thing is, obviously, when 1.5 happens, the pack will break. It's just bound to. The Vanilla Expander team have said that going into 1.5, there are a few mods that they're just not going to update at all. For example, the Witcher mod is a good example. This means that unless someone decides to pick up the mod, if Vanilla Expanded even allow that, that those mods are just not going to exist anymore. That will also probably break the mod pack. So keep that in mind playing through. I would advise making a backup of everything as well if you are playing along, just so that it can give time for all the mods to update and blah 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 and continue on. So I'll probably be installing a few extra mods over the next couple of days just so that I do have the mods enabled before the update drops. So keep that in mind. So we are back with Brent and Missy, just as they are buying some stuff to refuel their balloon. So the aim of this episode really is that we are going to finally set up a little base for our own, and hopefully we're going to get everyone who was in the education centre all back together in one settlement, and we can start setting up some individual bases. So you go to there. Uh, you guys are on your way. Good. You're fine. You've got plenty of food. The others are just kind of hanging around. Grow all growth mode for Skylar. This is the first time we've actually been able to get you some skills, which is going to be nice. Fast learn would be amazing, especially when you've got no talent whatsoever. Tough is also amazing. Iron stomach's pretty good. Unpretentious is employed by rough living. That would also be really good. I guess fast learner, you need it. We need three skills. Okay, that's not too shabby. You've got no passions in cooking, but you are basically a chef already. We'll get you a passion in archery just so you've got a combat passion. If you're going to be our cook, I guess we want something that's going to do on the side. So I guess intellectual would be good for you. And herb law? It kind of ties in with that. Although, what is your skills? How would you mean your work? He wants to leave this planet. I guess that is meaningful work. That's fine. And you can be a fast learner. Good. Brent is still on his way. Good. And then once we've settled there, we'll cut down some trees. We'll go over here and we'll found our proper first settlement. That'd be really, really nice. And then any quest rewards can just go straight to there, which makes a lot more sense. It's taken a lot of faff to get to this point, but <laughs> we're getting there. It's going to take them roughly two days to get to here. That's fine. These guys are going to take absolutely forever. How long is it going to take you to like get to there? Six days. Oof. Balloon has arrived at their destination. Brilliant. Right, now we're going to set up camp with these guys. Start harvesting the wood, and then we can crack on. There we go. We just need enough to fuel the balloon so that we can just get out of here. Right, and these guys have also arrived. Good, so we've got three camps on the go at once. This is <laughs> this is getting a bit much. Okay, Izel is butchering the hedgehog now. That's very nice. And that's some meat. You're con Are you just eating everything? Did, did anyone else get a look in? No, they're starving. Izel, you know what you have to do now? You're going to have to punch that pill troll to death. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Because I think this is probably going to be more work than you can handle on your own. There we go, it's fine. It's fine. There, we're fine. Okay, go heal yourself up. You can have that stuff, that's fine. Yeah, I guess I am going to get Skylar on cooking and butchering. I'm sorry, Skylar. I know you're a small child, but you need to learn the ways of the world. And this involves butchering a hill troll, which is bigger than you. Because <laughs> that should give us enough meat to then cook some meals that Izel might actually be happy. You've already run out of food. You had four meals. Izel, you are a nightmare. I, I can't cope with this. Oh, she just eats everything. How are you lot doing? You've got plenty of food. Okay, good. Just gather all the food up. We'll head off. You reform caravan. Pre-select. We're going to go down to here, please. 1.3 days. I'm about to get to there to... No, hang on. Okay, I need somewhere else that's not polluted. It's got to be there. Right, you get on as passenger, you get on as operator, and we're finally going to go found a settlement. Go upside down balloon, go! Fly! <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, we could stop off here. I reckon we can stop and visit. We could potentially leave King here to do some work, because he's not going to be affected by the pollution. That might be the best thing for us to do. Yeah, tell you what, we're going to do that now. King on his own with 600 silver and some berries sure 
Right, King then, you go trade with them. Lats and Brianna, you go to there. You can do some questing and things there, that's fine with me. And we should have Rent and Missy hopefully arriving finally here so we can settle our settlement. Boone has arrived. Right, settle. Okay, this is going to be our home from now on. So we've got a little path going through the middle. This is nice. Okay, I can kind of see what we're going to do already. Okay, so we need to start setting up a little base, something that we can just have as a little hotel respite for weary travellers. And we are on the main road, so that does work out quite well. We don't have a huge amount of room to work in, but we can make this work. But I'll, I'll plan something out and I'll be back in a second. Okay, something like that for now I think we'll do. It's going to cost a lot of wood, obviously. But I think that would be a good start, just as a little guest house. And we can always expand later on into like extra outhouse and things out here. So maybe like doing something like this and then building like a kitchen or something over here. Get like a decent sized table in here as well. Maybe like here. And then we can get some log benches here and here. That'd be nice. We can get some like cup and dice in here. Sure. Yeah, some rustic chairs in here. This is, this is nice. This will turn into a really nice little place. And we'll get like a little hearth going. Uh, once we get some stone but this this could be really really nice right and king has actually arrived at this settlement which is very nice so what do you have two goats actually that might not be a bad thing we might look at doing that in a minute because that will enable our little settlement down there to actually have some milk which might be quite good uh, we did need some steel so that we can actually make our cart so i'll look at doing that in a minute right now though i want you to ask for a quest pig and the camp Ooh, skill time healing. Pigs inhabit a nearby ruin of invading their caravans. The ruins are controlled by Mulmugmug. They're asking us to clear the ruins, which means eliminating all pigs. It would be another ruin. And the ruins are quite nice. Let's do the skill tomb healing. Sure. And where is it? Oh, it's there. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a pain. Fine. Well, King, let's get you to offer some help with some low effort, unskilled labor. You do that. You guys then are fine. You've got 0.2 days. You should be able to make camp there. Oh, Missy's very happy, actually. Xana died and you're happy about it. <laughs> oh, your teacher died and you're really happy. Okay, fine. Uh, learning deprived. Yeah, I know you're learning deprived. It, we're, we're working on it, okay? We're working on it. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get this set up and then it'll, it'll be fine. What is that? A Dermigriff. A powerful and noble creature. De oh, Demigriff was rumored to be made by Empire nobles with too much money and time on their hands. Eagle and Tiger mixed into the Rimworld's deadliest predator. Okay, I'm not sure we want to stop here very long. In this group, who is good at plant work? Lorby Lord and Skylar are best at plant work. So I tell you what, uh, we're going to set Lorby Lord off on his merry way. You can have two tomato omelets. I'm going to get you to forage in the surrounding area. Go. Skylar can go off on his merry way. Sending a child off into the woods is, <laughs> is never a bad thing, is it? Uh, you can also take two tomato omelets. I'll also give you a linen bedroll because you're a child. So you go over there in the morning and you can do that. Then you lot, you can set up a camp. And then, oh god, is that another? That's a tiger demigriff. Oh no, so that is a mod I added recently, <laughs> in case you're wondering why we haven't seen them before. We do have a few different things we could hunt on this map might make life a little bit easier god yeah just oh you're horrendous <laughs> you're just buying it oh oh okay just keep going right um well azelle's done her job right and then we need uh simple bills uh excuse me we just had a meteor shower in um the camp with lats and brianna and um, it's stupid. So much gold and so much sapphire. And what's that? Iron. Uh, there's a bunch of citrine as well. That's like all the stuff we could ever want. Yeah, you get on that. We've got plenty of food. So just mine all this up, please. And that's great. Because once we get this up, this will help fund making the next settlement. So I'm more than happy with this. You got 68 silver. King, that was not worth it, was it? What are you going to do with 68 silver? Buy those goat. Conversion staff. Uh, that might not be bad. Uh, we wanted some steel, didn't we? A hundred. Okay, take that. And you're going to go straight to the settlement. You've got enough food. You should be able to get there. Fine. Okay, I think that's all the gold done. Let's just drop that off at the camp. That's pretty good. 114 sapphire. 969 gold. Jeez. Okay, that's amazing. 
reform caravan get you to go to there that is a lot of stuff <laughs> it nearly falls to capacity fine will you meet up with king king's king and his goats he's doing all right yeah you should be able to meet up together hopefully just get to there together then we'll merge and then we will head on to apparently our place is called rego ridge uh, give, give me ideas for a settlement name. I will rename that because that's that's not a good name. <laughs> Ooh, Hungry Dragon has been tracking a herd of animals to where? Oh, okay. A Hungry Dragon has appeared at our settlement here. We've got a green dragon. It requires nine animal handling. Oh, God. Why couldn't you have built at least one room, Brent? One room would have done it. Hopefully, it will hunt the, the alpaca and move on. Pig Busto, divine chief from the Red Nasa Bruno, has reported missing caravans traveling through the area. A basilisk. Basilisks cannot turn anything to stone with their gaze. However, their acid, venom, claws, and teeth provide them many ways to kill. Where is it? Next to our base. Okay, that's not great, is it? Okay, we've made a room. Well done, Brent. You've made a single room. Congratulations. King has got the flu. <sighs> Fine, get there quickly. We'll fix you up. Right, from the sheer amount of food that they collected, they've got enough to actually feed us L, which is amazing. So hopefully we'll be able to get some way towards getting to this base. 3.1 days we've got until we get to there, and I imagine probably another 3.1 days till we get back there. That's fine. We've got how long on this now? Another 19 days. I would like to do that. I feel like we're going to need a decent hit squad, and I don't think what we've currently got is good enough. Oh, <gasps> Wooden canopies for the guests. We can charge 10 apiece. There we go. <laughs> we could we could do that. We could have a nice little outdoor area, have a little campfire set up for it. That'd be nice. A little nice area. And these can all be for guests for now. And these can be for like the cheap the cheap ones where they can sleep outside. We'll have the more paying ones inside. I think this is cool. This needs to go. I'm sorry, Tarpet, but you need to go. Where's that dragon gone? The dragon scares me. There he is. He's up there. Got a lot of deer here. I would like those alpaca. Just for the wool, so we've got another trade commodity. For now, though, low food. It's going to be you for food, isn't it? Because I don't think we've got anything left. We've got one berry. Okay, get those berries harvested. Um, yeah, I think we're going to struggle in the winter for food. Uh, we might need to start growing something. Just like something small, I guess. I mean, I will be reliant on like um, other farms in the future. But for now, I guess we'll just get some potatoes growing. Get something down. And then we're going to need to get some basic commodities down so we can get some stone and things for resources. I'm going to rely mostly on getting it from other settlements. We're going to get like a mining settlement that can get stone. We'll get a farming settlement that can get potatoes. We'll have like a restaurant to provide meals. We'll get all of that going. And so our main settlement, we won't have to have much at all. We can just have this as this and have guests come and uh, pay us. That'll be good. Okay, your immunity's actually gone up. Do you have decent immunity? So what, you got super immunity. Oh, we don't need to worry about that then. That's fine. Okay. I'm wondering if Missy will be able to just like get that dragon. So there's a risk of brain damage and is overly hostile. Madge collapse shoot 50%. Ugh. We did it. Psychic shock. Run, run, Missy, run. <laughs> Missy took out a dragon. Oh, quickly. Um okay what what do we do what do we do i guess we kill it i would oh i want to place on a colonist which increased raid chance until the warrant is paid off bear can either choose to pay off the warrant amount void it or leave the warrant until it expires what do you mean wanted for poaching by bokuku i mean we did kill a dragon that would that would upset a lot of people okay well let's get a fire set up <laughs> guess we'll uh we'll butcher this dragon yeah, Missy's power is... That's very overpowered. This is a tiny child just making a dragon's brain explode. Right, go butcher that dragon. But that does give me the opportunity that I could potentially tame those alpaca as well. Right, all of you should be together. Good. Merge, set up camp. Right, and I think now that we are all here together, what we could do is get a send self on Brianna. I've never done this before. No, stay still. Stay still. Oh my god, you're an orc. You're the highest tier now. Do you look different? Oh, you've got little teeth. You're still sterile. You've got a larger body now, though, so movement speed is lower. Your mass is more. You do more melee damage. That's that's nice, because you're a very good melee character. That's very, very cool. And has it done anything else? Not really, no. 
but it does mean that now you can ascend other people. I get it, I get it. So that's how it works. I mean, you don't really gain any skills. Annoyingly, the goblins seem like the best ones because they actually have increased skills in crafting and stuff. Uh, the orcs just seem like the best thing about them is the fact that they can ascend others. I don't think there's really much else that goes along with them apart from strong melee, which is still nice. Whatever. Oh, I didn't. I missed that. How much meat did we get? Uh, well, we got a bunch of dragon scales. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, that's my bad. I forgot to set it. Uh, do forever. Uh, do forever. Yeah. Brent, just cook, please. Cook. That'd be nice. Well, let's get you to head off. There we go. Oh, we got a small loot box and Pandora's box. Very nice. Right, you go over that way. We could get you to go try and fight a basilisk. I mean, what gear do you have that we could get you to use? Lats, you do not need a conversion staff. Thank you, but no. We could get you to use Valise Axe Gun for the time being. King, you've got that legendary recurve bow yeah i reckon you could do it you go attack this basilisk okay so mint salad only 12 days and you'll be fine uh let's have a look at you clint Clint is frail already Ugh, 23 days taking forever just to get these paralytic blazer people up well we'll get them on their merry way and i'm i'm tempted to get them to try and take out this ruin sure let's get them to take on this ruin what is going on? So in the space of about 20 seconds, I've had about three different events happen. A nearby settlement can sail to contact you with a special quest. Their fields have yielded far more than originally expected, and they could really use your help with the harvest. Is that really nearby? And if I send my people, they're going to get horribly polluted. I guess King is the only one we've got who could actually do it. And are you actually any good at herb law? Oh, you're right. You've got a minor passion. You could you could do all right. Okay, we've also got a librarian trader from House Ambrose, right? Fine. And a lin a, a pack of lindworms. It's just the one. We had a dragon, now we've got a lindworm. This isn't funny. <laughs> it's, we got a tiny map. Missy, do you want to trade with them? See what they've got. Because, I mean, if they would like some uh, dragon scales or ludicrous amounts of... Oh, no, you're not well. Why aren't you well? Okay, now... Uh, Brent, go trade with them. I I don't think Missy's in any fit state to be meeting people right now. Yeah, you're being violently sick on our floor. This is meant to be for guests. Ooh, treaties. A book. A book with information about a particular subject can be sold to interested traders. Into the ruins. A guide to dungeoneering. Right. Ancient codex. An ancient tomb intricately made with gold and finish. Contains scriptures detailing their historical accounts of the under empires can be sold for a pretty penny right so really this is just like uh, skill trainers these are really expensive though no they're not willing to buy anything and we've got no silver to even try and get a quest from them so i think you're gonna be okay uh how much does this give us so this gives us an extra 24 load that's not bad seeing as you're a tiny child speaking of which though green is nearly aged 10 which is really 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 nice skylar i'm worried about skylar um just because you are already 10 and i doubt you've got any learning done since you've been on the road so you're probably gonna be an awful colonist as well but i'm hoping missy will be able to stay here for a little bit so she can actually do some learning and that'll be good right then uh where's this basilisk oh there it is cool so you three get over here payments arrived uh we haven't done anything yet <laughs> uh exalted medicine nine fine well this will be something we can uh we can do something with a basilisk maybe we get like a hide or something you've got the flash pot so we could stun it so i'm tempted to get you just to do that okay we hit it actually did a load of damage to it and it's not fighting back um <laughs> i don't know why it's not fighting back i feel a bit mean now it doesn't seem to be attacking us for some reason. Yeah, I think it's just scared of us. We've given it a permanent brain injury. Why isn't it attacking us? Oh, this was just a peaceful basilisk and we've uh, absolutely <laughs> ripping it to shreds. Oh, it's dead. We just killed an innocent basilisk. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, we barely got paid anything for it, so I don't feel that bad. Right, let's just butcher this creature. Who's good at butchering? I mean, we could take it back to where our campsite is, but to us, we don't have an art bench. We can use it to actually craft, like, uh, trophies and stuff, which would be really, really, really cool. Oh, God, it weighs 180. How are we meant to do that? I think it's you need to have, like, an art bench with you to be able to do that, because that's nuts. 180 
I'm not transporting that all the way back to base. There we go. A bunch of meat, and we got a basilisk hide, which is probably worth some money. Yeah, 107. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Well, there you go. We killed a basilisk. All's good. So I'm going to change the faction icon, actually, just for a second. There we go. Now we've got a little house in the woods. Excellent. So just let me know what you want me to rename it, and I will rename it. Okay, right. So Brent has made some good progress. Uh, most of what we want has already been cut down, which is very nice. Word of Brianna's charm has reached gerbil. <laughs> they've asked for Brianna's hand in marriage. According to this marriage ceremony, um, oh, they go join the people of Trado. I'm sorry, she's too good. No, I'm sorry. You run out of food already. Oh, that's really annoying. I think Azel just gobbled it all up. It was meant to last until they got there. Might need to get them to settle just to get a bit more food before anything else. It looks like Lats, King, and Brianna are just about to arrive, though, which is very nice. And Brent's just passed out on the floor. Brent, it would be nice if you could at least get a bed together. Maybe for you and Missy, at least. That would be nice. Uh, we'll get a couple of more beds set up just so that we can have some room for our people. Because we're going to have another three people rocking up soon. And we have got nothing. We don't even have a room. Just, no, stop everything. Just work on that one wall. Right, build roof area. No, build the roof area. This needs to be an indoor location. Please. Right, at least we've got Lats, King, and Brianna here. Good. Right, come along, all of you lot. And we've got some friends. Good. Uh, we're going to need to get some stables together or something. Uh, we've got plenty of wood. So you know what? We're going to have to get uh, a fence done. So let's get one like that. Get a little gate there. Get a pen marker. That'll do. So we've got a couple of goats. We've got a couple of donkeys. We've got our oxec bull. And we have a giant lindworm. <laughs> which I still don't want here. Might need to get Missy to take it out. Oh, we've got an exotic goods trader. Good. Hello. Oh, that was a weird noise. Uh, scatter. Kundra. Teleport everyone in the area into random locations. Oh, cool. Ricochet shot. Okay. Oh, frost ray. Tox immune. Pale lime skin. Marine skin. Or we get some pigs. <laughs> we don't really have much to sell, though, do we? They don't really want anything. Apart from Pandora's box. But I kind of want Pandora's box. Let's open Pandora's box. A doe is self-tamed. We've got a visitor. Brent's brother... And we've got a bunch of walrus. <laughs> walrus with a slave outfit. No, I don't want slave outfits. We have a visitor who is Brent's brother. That's bizarre. I mean, sure, wh why not? Are you going to pay us? Brent's brother has been our first guest. We got 10 silver from him. That's kind of crazy. Uh, guest. What are you like? You're a baseliner, yeah? Are you... No, you're not psychically attuned. You're a tailor. Okay. You're pretty good at crafting. Uh, I don't really want you. I I could get you, but I'm not I'm not gonna bother. Oh, it's very weird. Brianna, go see if we can check for quests, please. Item stash, bandit camp. Ooh, 200 silk. Really? We've only got 201. Item stash. Fine, item stash. A skill tomb of art. That was not worth it. That was not worth it at all, was it? Okay, we'll get that in a bit, I guess. Uh Lats, do you wanna open this chest? What did we get? Exalted Medicine. And some Oricalcum. Fine. Uranium, for those of you who don't know. That's fine. Starvation. You're all starving. Izel is absolutely fine, of course, because you ate all the food. Right, well, we're going to need to get them to settle to get some food uh, anyway, so when they get to the ruins, they'll be fine. Right, we've arrived at the ruin? Oh, it's there. Oh, it is tiny. They did say it was a small ruin. Right, okay, first of all, we need to get some of this... Can someone anyway start doing that? We need also a small animal, a hare. Perfect. Oh, Brent tamed alpaca. Hey, brilliant. We've got our first alpaca. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, the gods just uh, decided to bless us with, yeah, a massive chunk of granite and a, <laughs> a massive onyx deposit. Uh, thanks. Did that injure any deer? No, the deer are all fine. It's just what I've always wanted. Good. Izel, have you... Yeah, you've punched that. Good. Butcher that animal. Right. Um, Izel, don't you dare eat that. Len. Consuming raw meat. Good. Yeah. Consume that raw meat. Izel, you're going to consume the rest of the raw meat. Fine. A, a raid. No, we've got our first raid. <gasps> Tyranny of hell. What the heck are you? We've still got guests. They can help. Uh, you are a what? A lilim. A 
According to legends, these are among the many offspring of the mythical Lilim. <laughs> no talent. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Bloodlust, no talent, undergrounder. You're actually a terrible, terrible colonist. You don't really have any redeeming features apart from the fact that you are this nuts creature. I thought that said something else then. Apart from the fact that you're ageless and super immune, all this other good stuff, there's no real reason to have you. You are you're pretty abysmal. I like your weapon. You've got a sapphire staff. Oh god. Ah. Um. Uh. No, run, run, run. Run. Ah. Uh. uh. Get her. Get her. <laughs> oh. Good. Well. Um. We've got a Lilim. So I could try and recruit her, but I don't see why I would. Unless I got her to be the magic user, if she is magically sensitive. Whatever the case, I want this. This is nuts. Beautiful as it is deadly, the staff is charged with magical energy and can be used to launch a barrage of magical bolts upon enemies. Yeah, that's mine. Thank you. You got brain damage? No, just psychic shock. You're fine. Okay, right. We need to... I'm sorry, Brent. You're going to lose your bedroom. This is going into prisoners. Missy, well done. That was amazing. Capture her. Oh, God, there's another one. I didn't even notice. An imp. Okay, it's, it's dead. It's dead. Okay. I didn't even notice there was another one. We've actually got three people to travel as way now. We can finally get someone back on be our cleric. That'd be good. Let's get Lats to be our cleric again. Right. Go on in, Lats. Get assigned to be our cleric. Come on, hurry up. Sound like someone's throwing up then. <laughs> Why is it slowed down? Is something happening on the other map? Oh god, what's that? Gift from Ertalor. Elven, Eastbourne, Hagros hat, and a heavy fur simple filled with... That's really nice. Skylar, run your ass off. Someone's just come out of the ruin. Mug Maloik. Um, Izel, you need to help. You need to help now. Lord, me lord, run. Skylar, run your ass off. Run and gun, run and gun. It's your only hope. It's your only hope. Oh no, okay, it's good. It's good. Right, uh, right. Lord, not get back. I think Izel is much better suited for this right now. Uh, can you get round? Okay, I didn't mean for that to happen, but okay. Successful roll change. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a minute. There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, that's one down. I didn't realize they would just come out. That's kind of terrifying. I'm worried about those forest trolls up here. They're scaring me a bit. I reckon then what we'll do, we'll get a couple of sleep spots here. You rescue them. And Lord me Lord, you rescue Clint. We will chop down a couple of these trees and we'll block this section off. And then we can have a little base of operations while we go into there. And then we don't need to risk uh, essentially dying. So you use your conversion powers on Brianna, which I forget I need to rename. Right, congratulations, your name is now T Chaos. Lovely. Okay, we're into the first section. We need to cut down these trees really, really quickly so that we can actually build some form of settlement. Izel, open this chest, please. See what we've got. Exalted medicine. I couldn't ask for anything better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's get this set up and then we'll go attack this ruin. Okay, good. Well, we're fine. Grey Meadows has yielded more food than they expected. They want us to help. Where is that? Sure, King, you, you do that. You pack that, and then I'm going to get you to fly off and do some harvesting for our people so we can get some food. That'd be lovely. All right, Julia is up. I guess let's convert you. Lats, do you want to start converting? Don't know how long this is going to take. Lats talked to Julia about chat about Xenohumans, talking about how weird everyone is. There you go. Well, that's fine. That's basically her converted all the way, so that's nice. Forest troll hunting Gazelle. What do you mean? Where's Gazelle? What are you doing? Get back in there. That's the whole reason. Good. Right, Izel, run. Uh, Missy! Hey! Right, so uh, she's been reading passions about Arcotex. Uh, hunting, Mufflo, and making friends. Okay, well, I guess animal handling for you. What else are you good at? Hunting. Oh, it would have been good if we could get a passion for you in archery or something. Persuasion's not bad. Intellectual, maybe? Something for you? You're talking about reading about Arcotex. That seems pretty intellectual. And then what do we have? Uh, oh, God. Kind, nimble. Iron stomach. But you'll never get food poisoning. Gourmand, that's not something that's really relevant. Uh, nimble is pretty good. I mean, she's a hunter, so I thought she'd be quite good at uh, archery. But actually, to be fair, she's quite good at melee as well. 
Yeah, melee hit chance plus two. I guess nimble. She could be a really good combat character regardless. All right, Ezel, you better hurry up because that forest troll is really legging it. All right, we're not leaving here. Right, Ezel, I guess that's start by going into hit. Skylet, you open this remains. Well, at least you get here. You tell you what, if there's anyone in here, let's lure them back. Both of you, uh, melee attack that. All right, one more. Okay, g gub. You any good? Hunter, steel longsword. Uh, are you going to wake up? Uh, I don't know who's going to come up better after this. I feel like Azel's probably going to be fine. It depends if he gets a good hit or not. He got one hit. Steel longsword though, mine. Thank you. Oh no, there's another one. Consuming... No, I want that bread. Can you get a hit in while she's like that? Natural cheese, get down here as well. Come on, just hit her. There, did she drop the bread? Did she eat the bread? I don't know. There we go, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Come on, Lord, Lord. just one more hit. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. What did she get? Okay, we got the steel wood cuff sacks, nice. And oh, I think she ate the bread. Something's going on. Oh, the forest trolls are killing each other. Okay, <laughs> they are very hungry. Oh, there's two. Um, we've got Guck, Guck, Hug, <gasps> magical achievement. Uh, you're quite a good character. We've got a mace and then Pockog. We can't recruit you anyway. I guess you go in. Nacho Cheese, you back her up, and then you also back her up. Go on. Right. Okay. Nice. Okay, we kind of want them not to die. I want them to drop, not die. Uh, six hours till death. They died. Obviously they died, because I wanted them. Okay. Oh, Izel. Izel, you're out of the fight for a bit. Oh my god, that was... That was too close. That was that was way too close. Oh, most moment for Len. Len, 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 Len. Hello. Okay, you get double passion in melee. You are already... I'm already happy. Uh, intellectual. I would like you to be intellectual. Body modder. Iron stomach. Abrasive. Cat person. Small. These are all awful. I mean, an imp would be abrasive, wouldn't she? Um, that makes sense. I feel like from a roleplay perspective, abrasive is probably the way to go for an imp. So I'm going to go with that. And then we want her to... Oh, I would really love her to be intellectual, but it's just not going to happen. Uh, we need something that she's going to be good at then. Healing she wouldn't be bad at. Unless I go for archery and like double down so she's a good fighter. Fine, yeah. I'm not particularly happy with it, but it's the best we can uh, do in this situation. Yeah, King, do you want to just get on this balloon? Get on this balloon. We've got some wood in it. Pop. I'm going to get you to go to... It was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Land there. And I'm going to see if we can get you to sort those fields out. Well, good trader. Hey. Oxect females. Actually what I wanted. Ooh, we got geese. Oh, this is nice. This is very, very nice. And we get some more food. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that, actually. Uh, we'll get some more cloth. Let's just get as much as we can. I'm happy with that trade. I am happy with that. We've got our oxex. Actually get some milk now. Right, Brent, lead these... What? what do you mean? You still haven't built this? Oh, you fool. Fine, just lead them all to a hitching spot for now. Because these oxex look adorable and I love them. And I just want them. I want a whole breeding program for them. It's amazing. I think we're running out... Of, especially Lorby Lords need to be running out of patience. Uh, Valise and Lorby Lord are running out of patience. I mean, we could just go take what we can get in here and go i would like to get a bit more stuff i think there's there's normally like a treasure room in these places what do we get silver chalice that's not bad uh demon blood potion oh gold chalice that's not bad okay um right no no you get back here what i'm gonna want you to do is i want you to shoot this door i want you to see what's behind it uh well there's a couple more bits in there we might be able to actually do something with can you shoot that door from there no, you might need to get a bit closer. You, he doesn't seem to be attacking me, weirdly. Um, now he is. Right, uh, run run your ass off. At least smack him. Smack him. Get there. Might be able to shoot him from there. At least you're right. You're right. You're fine. You're fine. Len does not know what she's doing. 
I, I say that. <laughs> uh, oh, that's Nacho Cheese's shot. Still. That was nice. Payments arrived. Oh, we did it. What did we get for all that? What did we get? Oh, skill of healing uh, and some jade. Nice. Lats, actually. Use that. Good. Right, what's behind door number one? Uh, right, there's a little treasure room. It's not much. There's only a chest and that and a well up. Oh, you actually got hit. Lordy Lord. No, you're on a break. No. Nice headshot. Your car is... Jeez, Len, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, Lordy Lord's on it, despite the fact he's on a break. Nice. Oh, Valise is now... Okay. This is not good, is it? Um, right, you rescue Nacho Cheese. You're on a you're on a break. That's fine. You you can be on a break, Skylar. I need you to go open these, uh, see what's in them, because uh, it might make everyone happy. And some silver chalices and some more demon blood potions. What do we get in here? Survival meals. Excellent. We got what do we get? Oricalcum, a ruby dye. We got some silver. Some weird stuff in here. Okay, we're not in a good state at all. I'm just I'm very tempted to go down here and just check out this room. It's already blocked off. Izelle, I'm sure, will be fine. Right, okay, she's through that one. Ah, I know what this is. Okay. Yeah, it's what, kind of what I feared. Large cave cobras and a chest. Can you open that chest without waking up the snakes? Demon blood potions. We've got ruby skull. Haul that and that. Then go. I don't know what the matter is. Hurry up before the snakes wake up. Oh, no. That's what I didn't want to happen. Melee attack. Okay, fine. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe. I believe. We're safe. Oh, my God. It's L. Why? Fine. Look. Allow everything. We're going. I'm not going in there again. That was too much. Too much for me. Select everything. We're going here. But for now, I'm going to leave it for today because it's already been probably way over what I need to record. It's probably going to need to be split anyway. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to our Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Lem, Belise, Lord, Lord, TKLs, Torman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Lloyd, Heretic, and Codry Pierce. Cheers, guys. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot. So I can't thank you guys enough. So cheers, guys. And I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.